Isn't this gorgeous? The rooftop, the views, the city. This is why I came to New York. Okay, that's enough. Um, I'm gonna go back inside. The sun's too bright for me. So for those who don't know, um, I used to live in California, in the Bay Area. I was working as a uh, software engineer at a big tech company, and uh, I moved here to New York City five months ago. Uh, still with the same job, but uh, I'm working remotely now because of the pandemic. To answer why I moved to New York, I first have to talk about my life coming up to this point. Not really, actually. I'm just egotistic. So the year was 1965. A girl was born who eventually will become my mother. No, I'm just kidding. But my whole life has been a dance between my interest in fine arts and my aptitude in hard sciences. Um, I wouldn't say aptitude, more like uh, moderate competence. So because of my moderate competence in uh, math and shit, I decided to go into University of Waterloo to study math and business because like all kids from immigrant parents, I just wanted to make money. Luckily for me, I discovered an easy way to do that. Software engineering. I mean, you get to sit on your ass from nine to five, typing five to six words a minute and make six figures, right? So sign me up. So I transferred to computer science, did a few internships, pad my resume with a bunch of bullshit and aimed for the top tech companies, which is how I ended up in Silicon Valley the city of socially inept men with no fashion sense, all starting startups to create meaning in their lives because they're actually devoid of passion, I fit right in. So what do you do if you came right out of college, debt-free because of your overpaid internships and a bunch of experience at top tech companies where it allows you to land any job in tech? You go to BuzzFeed. What? Yeah, so I went to BuzzFeed because I wanted to be famous. So I appeared in some of their videos. Oh my god. Five out of seven. Can you see a little bit of his butt crack? Not a great dick pic. But apparently, looking at penises and reacting to them is not enough to become a celebrity. Uh, so after a few months, I quit. Uh, not only my job, but also my dream of becoming a YouTuber. I packed my bags and went to Facebook to work as a data scientist. Which is funny because that's actually how I blew up with my channel, Joma Tech. And then fast forward today, I have a super comfy job uh, as a software engineer at a big tech company, and I have a YouTube channel with 1 million subscribers. Living the dream, right? Well, that's what you might think. But yeah, it, it, it is. <laughs> no, wait, that's stupid. Wait. Then the pandemic happened. So my work became fully remote. And basically I could choose anywhere I want. And I ended up choosing New York which is financially the dumbest decision you can make. I left one of the most expensive city to live in the most expensive city. <laughs> and um, if you haven't noticed already, I don't make the best financial decisions. I moved to New York because I truly want to become a filmmaker, a director. And um, when I was a kid, I had this unrealistic, stupid dream and it was to become a YouTuber. As I got older, I actually had another unrealistic dream, which is to become a film director. And what's the point of a dream if you don't flirt with it a little bit, right? You might ask though, why not LA? You know, why New York? Well, I think I just really like New York City, right? And um, New York City often gets romanticized in TV, and I think I just fell for it. I think it's the smell of piss, the rats in the subway, and how everyone looks so angry all the time. It's great. But in all seriousness, uh, there are a lot of advantages for me. Uh, I, I personally don't like to drive, and you do not need to drive in New York City. And um, yeah, you could, you could grab breakfast right out of your apartment in your PJs. That's awesome. Um, there's lots of great filming locations, lots of great talented artists here, and this place is multicultural. It's, it's also multi-racist though. New York City, it's just fucking garbage. But there's just something so magical about it and you can't really explain it. 
and I truly think that the smell of piss, the rats in the subway station, the garbage everywhere, all of that contributes to the magic. I don't know why, I'm not sure, but maybe the negatives, they cancel each other out, you know, kind of like math, you know, like two negatives. It's something you won't understand until you've lived here for a while. Um, you won't understand if you're just visiting. New York is like your slightly racist cousin who's quite endearing in his own ways. And because I want to be a writer-director, New York City is my inspiration, but it's also a cocoon for me to grow in as a potential artist. Oh, also, my, my girlfriend moved to New York, so I had to follow her because I'm whipped. Wow.